Hi everybody. I've had a couple of people ask me how I do the chalk backgrounds on my card. So it's a really quick and easy way to get a background on your images. So I thought I'd show you on this one. This is a, an image from Squigglefly called Picking Flowers. And I'm going to put some grass and some sky in the background. So I just get a cosmetic sponge and I just kind of bend them to you to get to the color. That way I can use different colors on the same sponge. And I have yellow and pink on orange on this side and green and brown on this side. So I'm going to start off with the green because I'm going to do the grass down here. And I just rub, the, rub it onto the chalk and then simply swipe across it. Get my hand out of the way for you. Now if I was going to do some shading where the bird is casting a shadow, I get a little bit of a darker green and just put it in there where there's shading on the ground. Then I take an eraser where I've gotten up here too high and just erase above this line. It's the good thing about chalks is after you have colored your image in, you can just erase it out over the image. Of course, if you've colored your image with colored pencils, you want to be careful not to erase that unless you've set it with a, a fixative spray first. Then what I like to do is stamp grass sprigs over this and I have this um, art impressions stamp here that's little grass sprigs. Sometimes I use this little dotted um, image from Stampin' Up's watercolor mini set. And you get some green ink. Stamp your grass into the ink and then you don't have to be very careful with this it's very forgiving and just stamp your grass sprigs over the chalk and this is super easy you can overlap you can use different shades of green and that's it for the grass and then if I when I do the sky I get um, blue of course on my sponge. Of course you could if you were doing a sunset or something you could have yellow and orange and pink in there. But we're going to do a blue sky and rub some blue ink, I mean blue chalk onto your sponge and just wipe it across. And I like having the lines cuz that kind of makes it look like there's wispy clouds in the sky. I don't have to worry too much about doing clouds. And then after you've got that all done I get one of these little eraser pins. The eraser slides up and down and these are great because you can get right into your image and erase the chalk off of the image. Doesn't take much to get the chalk off of your image and go a little bit over these flowers where it got blue on them. And you can see where I've gotten a little bit of the chalk erased by the flower. If that bothers you, you can take your finger and just kind of rub and that chalk will get back down in there. Anyway, once you have your image cleaned up the chalk off of it and you have it looking like you like, you're ready to mat it and make it into a card. Um, some people will spray this with a fixative. I've got a can of this Krylon workable fixative that you can spray onto your chalk if you want to set it or you can just use a coat of aerosol hairspray and lightly spray your image to set the chalk. You don't have to do that. I have done it and I have not done it and I haven't seen any difference in how long it lasts. Anyway, there's how you complete your background. Super fast and really easy. Hope that was helpful. Bye.